The ancient Egyptians were not only ahead in the field of construction, but also in the field of medicine and pharmacy. The Ebers papyrus found by archaeologists date back to 1500 BC, 3,500 years ago, which will leave you amazed about the immense intelligence of the ancient Egyptians. Let's uncover what drugs were like in ancient Egypt. Ancient Egypt was a civilization that existed between 3300 and 525 BCE. This is most likely where the sense of health emerged. Ancient Egypt offers some of the best earliest records of medical care. The ancient Egyptians thought that prayer could cure illnesses, but they also possessed natural treatments such as plants. It was an organized culture with tools like written language and mathematics that allowed people to record and develop ideas, allowing others to learn from them. The Ebers Papyrus is one of several written texts discovered by archaeologists that chronicle ancient Egyptian medical practice. This book contains over 700 medicines, magical formulas, and hundreds of chants to repel disease-causing demons. The writers most likely composed them about 1500 BCE. However, the text contained versions dating back to 3400 BCE. They are among the earliest medical records still in existence. The scroll demonstrates some excellent scientific techniques. Doctors appear to have had an excellent understanding of bone formation, as well as some understanding of how the brain and liver function. According to the Ebers Papyrus, the heart is the core of the body's blood flow, and veins connect every region of the body. The heart was a hub for arteries carrying tears, urine, sperm, and blood. The ancient Egyptian understanding of the circulatory system was described in a way that was both complex and far ahead of its time. It also addresses the symptoms, etiology, and treatment of mental illnesses such as dementia and depression. The cause of these mental illnesses was described as clogged channels as well as the influence of evil spirits and angry gods. Details about gynecological concerns, skin disorders, dental problems, digestive ailments, and even surgical therapy for a tumor were all covered in the Ebers Papyrus. Both pharmacies and medicine were familiar to the ancient Egyptians. They saw health and illness as a struggle between good and evil. Ancient Egyptians working in medicine and pharmacy spoke incantations while they prepared or administered drugs as they considered it a sacred ritual. The preparation of medicines involved plants and herbs like beeswax, pomegranate botanicals, fennel, anise, castor, aloe, safflower, and linseed oil. They also prepared medications from mineral components like lead, salt, and copper salts. Food items and animal products like eggs, liver, hair, milk, animal horns and fat, honey, and wax were also used in producing different medicines. These ancient Egyptians were even trained to set broken bones and treat burns. Some of the advice given by doctors back then seemed similar to modern-day hygiene. They advised people to prevent diseases by washing and shaving their bodies, eating wisely and avoiding filthy animals, and eating uncooked fish. Some, on the other hand, were extremely bizarre. One of the accounts describes placing a crocodile dung plug into the vaginal opening as a way of birth control. Dung was also utilized to dispel evil spirits. They were even good at dentistry. Dental decay and caries were widespread during the time. For treating inflamed gums, remedies included cumin, incense, and onion. While making holes in the jaw to drain an abscess, opium was given to relieve pain. However, these documents had no evidence of tooth extraction in the past. The Ebers Papyrus records that honey, frankincense, milk, and sesame were used to treat asthma. Aloe vera was used to treat burns and skin disease. Thyme was a general pain treatment. Sandalwood, juniper, mint, and garlic were normal cures for all digestive problems. Mint and caraway were given for bad breath, camphor for epilepsy, and only mint for vomiting. 
The ancient Egyptians were well aware of the need for precise identification of illnesses and their symptoms for successful treatment. There are descriptions of many diseases and their treatments in ancient papyrus. According to one prescription, if a patient experiences constipation, a pale complexion, a quickly beating heart, high body temperature, and flatulence, they may have an ulcer brought on by eating hot and spicy foods. The remedy for these ulcers involved mixing some sweet ale with flour and soaking the mixture for a night. Consuming it over four days would bring relief to the patient. The medical texts of the Egyptians were incredibly accurate. Prescription number 201 of the Ebers Papyrus described the use of castor in many diseases. Solution of dissolved castor roots in water was a quick and immediate remedy for severe headaches. Moreover, chewing castor fruits and ale together was the treatment for dyspepsia. Additionally, application on the hair of ground and kneaded castor fruits soaked in oil were prescribed to women for better hair growth. The Egyptians advanced a level during the modern kingdom. For several diseases, different medicinal prescriptions were used based on predetermined criteria. The physician or the healer would select the most effective drug. Just like modern-day medicine, some medications have a quick effect while others have a prolonged effect. Medicinal prescriptions were season-based. Only certain seasons were appropriate for the use of some medications. Treatment for the eye had three different medicines. One could be given only during the first two months of winter, another only used during the third and fourth months, and the third usable all year long. The physician or the healer often considers the patient's age when choosing a certain medicine. Adults were given a mixture of water, ale sediments, green dates, and other vegetables to treat patients with urine retention. On the contrary, youngsters with the same sickness were given by putting an old piece of papyrus soaked in oil as a heated brand around their stomach. Chemists have to take the patient's age into account while preparing medications. The young, understanding child was given pills to swallow, but for infants, the tablets were dissolved in the mother's or wet nurse's milk. Like in the US, each medicine has to be approved by the FDA. The ancient Egyptians had to put annotations in their prescriptions. Not only that, but a chemist also had to try a drug's quality after creating it. Frequently used annotations were the old writings of famous physicians of the time. If the combination of drugs was new, then the physician had to write it as tested along with the reference. He would frequently put these annotations in the margin of a medicinal recipe. Some medicines became famous because they healed a well-known person at the time. One such was the eye treatment that gained enormous popularity among the ancient Egyptians solely because it had successfully treated one of their pharaohs. Some medications were renowned as universal treatments for all illnesses as they were believed to be produced by deities. The Egyptian sun god Ra suffered from numerous diseases during his old age and created a few medicines to heal himself and the people of his time. The priests created such medicines in the name of God and then the physicians used them. One medicine that cured several diseases was a sticky plaster made of 14 botanical herbs, honey, and wax. However, Egyptian physicians and healers credited the gods for creating these drugs out of respect for them and as an acknowledgement of their medicinal efficacy. It is important to note that ancient Egyptians were also pro in making household pesticides to eliminate pests. Spraying the home with nitron water, firewood coal, and ground pipit plant was a common method to get rid of insects. Fresh oil was used to treat mosquito bites and goose fat to prevent fly bites. To keep rats and reptiles away from home, special ingredients were used, like a chunk of nitron or a dried fish was put at a snake's hole to prevent it from coming out, and rats were deterred by spreading cat fat all over the house. Surely, the intelligence of ancient Egyptians is commendable for being ahead of their time in medicinal know-how. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked the video, check out other historical videos on our channel. Don't forget to click the bell icon so you don't miss out on such interesting topics.